Take a short walk in my shoes, my boots, my kicks, my flip-flops, whatever I done seen rain and I ain't just talking weather But now I'm a survivor, shame on you if you thought I would ever leave I'ma be right there where the legends be I am unbreakable, I'm rock, I am never weak now nah, I feel weak sometimes, but you'll never see I'm going through one of the roughest times of my entire life right now Still I got a slight smile no Welcome back to Built by Apes In this episode, we will be doing the E46 Thunder Flares Okay, so this is not this, the first time we installed the fender flares on a car. Uh, if you watch our previous episodes, we also, we already did uh, a white body kit for our E36. But that one is kind of different because the kit was actually made for the E36. But this one is actually a universal fender flares because I can't seem to find the model I want for this car. So we decided to just use this first and let's see uh, how this goes. I watched some YouTube videos about installing a fender flares. So the first thing they always do is put a masking tape on the car. I don't know what is it for, but I think it's to draw the layout of where the fender will be. And then the second thing is what Dev said to me before that it's actually made so when you cut the fenders, the bits and the shrapnels doesn't come flying off to your face. Ow! So, I think you are more experienced on this, but so explain to the viewers what the blue thing is all about. Why everybody in the YouTube universe is using this? Is it just to look cool or is it necessary or not? Uh... I mean, it is to mark where you're going to drill holes on it, and I guess that's it. And then you can use it to use it as another template to cut it. But the main part is to mark where you're going to actually line the notches up and make sure that before you start drilling or cutting, that this side is the same exact mirror image of that side as well. Oh, talking about the other side, come with me. So I forgot to explain this, but we have made a quite a cool thing here with, with using plastics. So me and my brothers, we made this template using plastics based on the thing that we draw on that side. So in hope that I don't have to measure it again and we just can like put the fenders here following this template and just screw it. I don't know if it will work or not, but I hope it works. It's a bit nerve-wracking for me because this is my first car, like, this car has been with me since 2011 and to see it being drilled and cut is just uh, weird. Maybe we feel the same so when we do the E4-4 body kit uh, last year on the start, yeah, yeah, it has to be done. So you might be wondering why am I using self-tapping screws because I like it. Well, no, it's not a permanent solution. Uh, this is a kind of temporary fix, you know, just to get the shape and the look so that I can actually undo all of this later on and then put a nut certs, you know, the river that uh, the rivet that is actually a nut so that we can actually undo all of this and put it back again, just like the E36. So, so if he wants to put like a rivet with a nut, just put it. In. Oh my God, bro! Oh hell, hell no, man! man. What the fuck? So 
right now I'm going to undo all of this first and then make a notch that I uh, did some I marked it with this screwdriver and I'm going to notch it right there and then we might actually put this thing on here Now I'm marking where I'm supposed to cut. Uh, I'm going to cut little by little so that this will actually fit flush just like that one before we get the gist of it. Okay, so we finished installing the front right ones. Uh, it looks quite okay. Uh, it's not as wide as I hoped it would be, but for now it's fine. And actually, me did a great job on notching this bit. Really ties the bumpers and the fenders. Yeah, so now we are going to install the rear right fenders. That's good. So, I've mocked the rear fender up now. I've cut some relief here and here, you know, uh, so that I can actually feel this thing up later on when it's done. And you might be wondering why did we just leave it like this and not tap it in like that? Because this needs some thought to be put into it. And right now, we're not going to think about it just yet. We just want to see how it looks. Onwards to the next height. Okay, so it's been like three hours uh, for installing uh, the, the fender flares. And now this is the difficult part because we have to match whatever we do on that side to this side. And that includes all the mistakes and all the moving about of the flares. And now we are now trying to track back what we did. And we are trying to remeasure whatever we did on that side to this side. 
Let's hope that the two sides will be the same. Yeah, I certainly hope so. So uh, now that dent is gone and I've already cut this one out, hopefully they match up to the other side as well. And now I'm going to actually place it on the car. So cut to the time lapse. <laughs> It's been a long day, we spent hours and hours and hours trying to install the fender flares but now it's on and yeah, I'm pretty happy about it I don't know what main things but I think it looks pretty good yeah, It's okay As usual, this is the end of our video so I'm going to say what every YouTuber says Don't forget to comment down below if you want to say something I guess about this universal fender flare install and if you like the video, don't forget to like the video Give it a thumbs up. Click and the bell icon. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you'll be notified every time we upload. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys on the next episode where we cut this thing up. Peace out. We got the power in the knowledge to move them and still right? A super song for the cause. Feel the load of your brain for the episode. And we just begun. From the black, the be a back. And you don't, I won't. If you still, I will take three jams and hold them. This was I told them. Rock the other side, the sucker lied. Said he was shocking, but never tried it. So I took him away. I never stayed, y'all. He made a jam to get you slammed back to back in the place where the suckers are born. Whatever it takes to make it hardcore. That's what you buy for. Pulling your ride.